This is her daughter, aged 22 months, two months shy of her second birthday. And she's never lived in a world that wasn't densely populated with Macintoshes because both her mother and father worked at home and both of her mother and father had their own Mac. And in fact, when I found out the little girl was interested in computers, I gave her an Apple II, which she rejected. She wanted a Macintosh just like her folks. And she literally learned to use it by sitting on her mother's lap while her mother was working. So for this child, the Macintosh is not a piece of technology, but simply more material in the environment to manipulate. And though I don't believe in user surveys, the one I did do with this very young user is I discovered that she vastly preferred Macintoshes with installed hard disks. Now, given that she can use the mouse, and some people are surprised that she can without having to look at it, but in fact, it's something that everybody can use. It's not too surprising that she can hit visible menu commands in uh, Mac Paint. So when I saw this, I was intrigued. I'd never seen a child this young interacting uh, with a computer before, but it, I wasn't too overwhelmed until I saw what she did next. She wants a fresh sheet of paper, so she hits the close bar in the window. She saves her old drawing using the pop-up, and then she uses the pull-down to get herself a fresh sheet, and she's off and running again. And in fact, we discovered that she was about 70% literate. About 70% of the generic window commands that are found in any Macintosh application, she is able to use, not just in an, a visual program like uh, Mac Paint. So the answer is, is that this stuff is for all of us. And the reason it works is not because the goodness of computer science in it, although there is some there. The main reason it works is because the, uh, for some reason, we decided to study human beings and involve lots of human beings called children in our experiment and try and stay closely coupled to them for, the, for a number of years. And out of that came a, a bunch of ideas that could not have sprung just from technology alone. So if it weren't for the multiple mentality ideas of Brunner and the catalysis of Tim Galway's inner game of tennis and a host of other sources like Suzuki's way of teaching children violin and others too numerous to mention, we never would have thought of these ideas and implemented them the way we did. 